very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at his weekly majlis at Rifa Palace members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Shura and Representatives Councils, religious, social, and economic figures, journalists, and diplomats. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors, demonstrating Bahrain's commitment to deep-rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty the King's aspirations to maintain strong bonds amongst Bahraini society. The visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized the important role he plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 18 for this year, replacing a member of Eskan Bank's Board of Directors. Sheikh Ahmed bin Isa Al Khalifa is to be replaced by Yusuf Salah Kala for the remaining term of the previous member. The Minister of Housing is to implement the edict, which will become effective on the day of its issuance in the official gazette. The Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the occasion of his appointment as Southern Governor. His Highness congratulated him for earning the trust of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted the Southern Governor's expertise and competence in carrying out his duties to achieve the aspirations of the leadership of further progress and development for the Kingdom at all levels. Sheikh Nasser wished Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali success in his duty. He affirmed the importance of cooperation between governmental bodies and civil societies to improve the sporting field in the kingdom, in light of the government's support to youth and sports. For his part, the Southern Governor expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his support. He held his efforts in supporting youth and promoting sports in Bahrain. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, and Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the Fourth World Championships of Amateur Mixed Martial Arts, MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today in his office at Al Wadi Palace the Assistant Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Member of the Supreme Council of the Amateur MMA Championship, Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, and Bahrain Olympic Committee Board Member, Chairman of Bahrain MMA Federation and Head of the World Amateur MMA Championships Executive Committee, Colonel Khaled Abdulaziz al Hayat. His Highness reviewed the Executive Committee's preparations to host the world event from the 12th to 19th of November. The championship will be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event will be organized in the Kingdom of Bahrain in cooperation with the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the IMMAF. Sheikh Khalid praised the efforts of the Executive Committee's head and members in preparing for this global event. For his part, Askar affirmed that Bahrain Olympic Committee will organize this major event with the help of experienced Bahraini cadres. Colonel Hayat expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his consistent follow-up of the Executive Committee's efforts, which reflects his keenness to fully prepare the Kingdom to host this event for the first time in the region and the wider Asian continent. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office at Al Wadi Palace today the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, who presented His Highness with a copy of the Bahraini Sports Book, authored by the Bahraini Olympic Academy upon the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, His Highness was briefed on the book's content, intended to raise awareness about healthy lifestyles, including the importance of sports, praising all those who contributed to its advice. He said the book contains valuable scientific information and practical experiments, which highlight the importance of sports in reducing the incidence of chronic diseases. The book was written by a team from the Olympic Academy, including Professor Isvan Bali, Olympic Academy Director Nabil Taha, and Dr. Hussein Jafar, as well as Mahmoud Yatim. Last-minute preparations are underway across the kingdom to mark the end of the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca and the beginning of the three-day festival of Eid al-Adha. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. 
As the excitement for the Holy Festival of Eid al-Adha is building up, markets and retail stores across the kingdom are flooded with shoppers crowding into shops and markets to sweep up the bargains from sweets, clothes and other delicacies. People are buying a number of things to celebrate the festival of sacrifice. Eid is like my favorite time of the year. Um, even though we have like last minute shoppings and all of that, it's a hassle sometimes, you don't find anything. But like at, in the end, you just dress up, you go to your grandma's house, you visit your family and friends. It's a nice time. And don't forget the feast as well. Good food always. <laughs> I, also I also like the preparations that goes on. Um, you get to go with your family, buy halwa, buy nuts and everything. Um, prepare the house for the people to come in. Um, see your family that it's been ages, you didn't see them as well. Prepare for the kids to buy uh, new clothes. So that's what makes them ha happy. And then also for the groceries, uh, just we take as a, su a sweet, traditional sweet like halwa and all of these things for the family because the family is the first, of the, uh, first day of the Eid. Usually they have a uh, lunch in our house. So just we'll uh, celebrate all the, uh, the Eid in our house. And uh, that's what we prepare usually for the Eid. It's the busiest time for shopkeepers across the kingdom as families stock up for Eid al-Adha. Shopkeepers and traders are also ecstatic with the rush and are open late into the night ahead of the festive occasion. Uh, I'm from Andaman Islands and this is my first time here in Bahrain and this is going to be my first Eid experience. And it's, it's been great, so far so great. I mean, uh, I've traveled around quite a few countries in the Middle East and I haven't seen people in so much harmony and this I guess is the perfect time to see all this you know Eid and uh, the best thing about Eid is I've been, I'm being invited all around you know for food and all I mean it couldn't get better and it's it's got something for everybody you know uh, like everybody like I see children um, youth everybody enjoying in their respective ways so it's, it's been great it's been great I'm look, really looking forward to it the Eid holiday begins on the 10th day of the month of the Hijjah, the 12th month of the lunar Islamic calendar, and is expected to begin on the 1st of September. Eid al-Adha, one of the most important days in the Muslim calendar, is making its way, and people are making their way to shopping centers and malls to ensure they have what they need for the festive occasion. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,305.25 points, marking an increase of 3.67 points below last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment, services, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment sector with 41% of total shares. 69 transactions included 1,712,834 shares worth 453,281 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced that this month's 100 million Bahraini dinars issue of government treasury bills has been oversubscribed by 128%. The weighted average rate of interest is 3.22% compared to 3.13% from the previous issue. The approximate average price for the issue was 96.84% with the lowest accepted price being 96.68%.